What's up, Bully Max fam? I'm Sam Sabio from Dela Cruz Bloodline Weight Pool Dungeon Kennel. I'm here to give some beginners some lessons on weight pool. Always remember to be patient, especially when starting off a puppy. Puppies are like children, and we all know how children are when they're when they're young. You know, full of energy. That's partially why we want them to get into the sport. Dogs that have energy and drive will succeed, without a doubt. And when you come to the park, you want to have a steady routine. I would recommend for a young puppy, just starting out nine to 10 months, probably two to three days, but with only about two to three reps, about 50 to 75 yards there and back counting as one. So the dog in reality is gonna pull about 300 yards in a night. And in between reps, you always wanna give them a five to 10 minute break. Like I said, always watch your dog, give them some water, Make sure your dog uses the bathroom before the workout because it could be, it's straining their body. So the lighter they are, the better. And in between breaks, when you give them water, you don't want to give them too much water. About three, four, five good drinks, you know, and then just pull the water away for a second. And if you see it's still thirsty, give them one or two more. You just don't want them to drink the whole water bowl in between a rep and then have to go out on the field and then, you know, he's not going to perform, he's full of water. Ancho 5150 out here is out of Dela Cruz's White Dragon, three-time national champion, 2011, 13, and 14 for the APA and UPF. His son Sancho is a year and a half old right now, and he's about 110 pounds. And it was his first year out UPF nationals in Kansas City about two months ago. He took third place most weight pool in his category. And his father, White Dragon, took national champion first place in his category. And start out over here at the park, 70% of our workout is over here because this is really where your dog builds his stamina on this grass right here and it learns confidence and before you even throw him on a track, track is like like the game. This is like the batting practice right here before we go to the home run derby. The first most important thing is getting a correct size harness exactly tailored for your dog. Uh, incorrect harness can injure your dog, it can rip muscle or tendons. With a proper harness, the chance of injury is very minimal. Uh, the way I put it on him is I'll do the neck portion first, and then I'll put his arm, tucks it in, and goes in one, and then two. The length is important because you don't want an overly long harness because it makes your dog work harder than it should, and it messes with his style. Style, you want your dog to be low to the ground, nose to the ground, wide because it has more leverage, more traction, and you just have a more powerful dog. With a, once your dog develops his style and it really clicks, you'll see. And another key element is the nails, because the nails work on the track for traction. We like to keep our nails healthy and all our weight pool dogs stay on a wood deck, which is pretty mandatory for all weight pool dogs that are trying to really, really be successful on a national level. The most important part of the routines is to always encourage your dog and build his confidence. You never want your dog to shut down. You never want to leave the park on a bad note, as we call it. You never want your dog to have almost stopped or even got to that point where he's thinking about it, man, I don't want to do this. You always want your dog to be happy from the start to the end and just give him some love and he'll always remember that. If you really want a successful weight pool dog, you just have to stick to your routine and just be patient. Dogs, they're really smart, they pick up off our energy, so if you get frustrated or stressed out, your dog's gonna get frustrated and stressed out. But if you're confident and you believe in your dog, he's gonna feel it and he's gonna feed off your energy and he's gonna pull for you. These dogs pull for the owner, they don't pull for themselves, they pull the police. For those that think weight pull is negative or inhumane, you have to really think about the dogs. Is it good just to have your dog just doing nothing or is it good to have them exercising? On a routine just like a, a person a person that works out has a longer lifespan is in better shape and stamina than those that just lay around this is sam from Tele Cruz bloodline 5150 for bully max i hope you guys really enjoyed the starter tutorial video on basic beginning weight pull training and if you guys are looking for the best supplement for your dog for muscles bone health coat nails drive overall complete healthy dog visit www.bullymax.com